Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Uh, today we're doing Supergirl, the season four episode all about Eve. I apologize for not recording last night. I didn't get home until about 8.30 or 8.45. And I found out that my show wasn't recording for some weird reason. So I had to wait until the CWC um, released it, which was um, this morning. So. Anyway, let's jump right into the episode. So, we start off with Alex rescues Lena. Lena was trying to say something, but Alex just said, just relax. Like, we kind of know pretty much everything. And then we cut to Supergirl Circle for Alex, including Marsha Manhunter. And then he got a, like, a signal from his dad um, when he did a psychic blast or, you know, trying to read the city for Lex. And um, he fell and kind of lost his powers for a minute but Supergirl saved him and now he is super worried and so he's going to use the staff to hear um his dad's memory out oh, my brain's fried today anyway um <clears throat> then we go to James and his sister talk and he's already having a little bit of PTSD at the hospital Someone dropped some stuff that sounded like a gunshot, and so he started to freak out for a second. But he covers kind of quick, and it's like, I'm going to work. And his sister's like, are you sure? He's like, yeah, bye. And so then we cut to where Ben talks to his kid, and they go to meet the senator. And then we cut to Supergirl, um, brought food to the DEO, brought donuts, actually. And basically, they're not looking for Lex. They are going to be stationed in D.C. And, um, but Haley lets Alex work with Supergirl. And she's like, don't make me regret this. And then, <clears throat> then we cut to where Supergirl gives Reem back to Brainy. and says that John found it. And, you know, here you go. Then we cut to where John is in a trance. And then he gets a visit from his dad. And he's alive, <laughs> which is awesome. And then we cut to where uh, John's dad that he failed. <laughs> and then he um, takes the symbols and leaves. <laughs> then we cut to where Lena visits um, mother in jail. And the mom decides to mock her and says that everyone's going to desert her when they find out the truth. Then Alex goes to visit Lena at her office because Lena returned to her office. Then we cut to a super, uh, Supergirl and everyone at Eve's um, aunt's place. So Alice is willing to work with Lena to help find everything. So they came up with this um, cousin or aunt or whoever. And so they go to that. Um, so they call Supergirl to go to that place. Then we cut to where Ben and his son talk to the senator. And she's going to change her mind on the repeal. She's not going to vote for it. Then we cut to where John's dad is still there. Um, <laughs> so we thought that he left, but he decided to say because John passed out. And um, <clears throat> and he's and John is getting kind of mad. He's like, "Well, can you at least help me?" And he's like, "Well, let's have coffee first. <laughs> but he says it was kind of funny. Like, let's have some coffee. <laughs> I was like, well, "Okay." Then um, we cut to where the cousin um, basically has powers and was about to create a ruckus, but Supergirl calmed her down. It's like, we're not here for you. We're just here to figure out where Eve is and what she's doing. And uh, tells of a lab, and then we cut to where Eve and uh, Kazni and Supergirl are in this tunnel. And then we cut to where the... Um, <clears throat> James's sister visits James at work and gets a list of therapists. But James is being icy and they basically go back and forth bickering, basically saying like, uh, you only visit me when I'm in the hospital, but you don't have your TVs on in your background, so obviously you got something going on with some type of PTO, like, call back to what happened to you and all this other stuff. And they're just going back and forth towards each other. And then he just finally tells her, like, just go. And so she does leave. Then Supergirl um, found um, Heronel at the lab through the safe. Then she gets mad, but then she gets over it once she realizes what the Heronel was actually used for. 
she's just worried about what, what Lex is doing with it because you know the people have powers now and all this other stuff but it did get rid of the um the cousin's cancer it got rid of it's St. James and it has very healing properties and you know she did and that Lena you know, grew it you know she did give it back but she just grew the hair now at least that's what she said I think she did keep like a sample or something anyway uh then John's dad puts up roadblocks and then John gets very very upset and basically yells and basically now he gets it now that he's fully Martian Manhunter so um and then um we cut to where Supergirl got attacked by another Metallo and so Lena and Alex got rid of him which was super cool that we got to see them work together and that was awesome and <clears throat> So they called Brainy in and got the sample of the kryptonite heart and everything. And then um, we found out that um, they found a gun there and we found out that was the same, that was like the same gun that shot James, that Eve must have shot James, not Martian Manhunter like they saw. Then John's dad and John talk and basically John suggests that he could return the symbols to the, um, a sacred place on Mars. And we find out that John's dad is actually not alive. He's just a memory and that John's been a trans the entire time. Then we cut to a car visits James and tells him that Eve basically shot at him. And then um, he's kind of spazzing out from that. And then um, they see that the aliens got repealed and that Eve is in DC because she saw it on the camera. Then we cut to Relina gives mom the plans of the prison and basically they saw her name written in red on over herself so that means that he's coming to off her and then we cut and so then <laughs> hang on so <clears throat> Lena asks like if you want my help for, who can protect you from him you need to let me help you and she's like I got time so I got the patient so and then she starts to leave and the mom says wait uh then looks like she's about to get information but we don't hear the information yet so <clears throat> then we cut to where james questions ben and he's like has no connection to it, everything and then the then supergirl got set up by the cats and the supergirl so basically she found Eve, which was really a hologram, and then she got wrapped up in this uh, kryptonite type suit, so she can't move. And then Cassie and Supergirl enters the Oval Office, and then basically off a lot of people. Then James got PTSD, and but he did save Ben's um, son. And I think Ben's okay, but she off like a lot of people with her um, X-ray vision. Not ice, not X-ray vision. Heat vision. Whatever. The, the beams that came out of her eyes. I'm tired, okay? Anyway, so we had that happen. And then, so the president then calls her out and is enacting martial law. And now she is public enemy, enemy number one. But the Dio doesn't buy that. Haley and Alex both don't believe that she actually did that. Then James visits sister and says, like, please stay. And she says she will. And then, uh, then we cut to where Alex calls Supergirl to uh, Lena and her. And they believe her and they want to help her. And that's the end of the episode. So, um, I give this episode A+, plus, but the weird thing is, it really wasn't all about Eve. <laughs> I mean, we get to see, like, her thought process, but was it all centric of Eve? We don't get her, really, her backstory. We kind of got a f little bit in the previous episode on why she was working with Lex, but we don't see, like, you know, her growing up and all this other stuff. So I thought this was like a weird episode that all about Eve when it kind of wasn't. There was obviously a bunch of elements about her, but it wasn't 
surrounded by her but you know I, I kind of liked it but anyway I really really enjoyed the episode though so that's why I gave it A plus because I mean I knew from the preview that um, the casting of Supergirl was going ham on everybody but I was like damn so anyway but she did talk a little bit of um Kaznian English so I think Ben knows it actually wasn't her either and all this other stuff. And I think James also knows it wasn't her. So, I mean, I think it's gonna be interesting on how that plays out and everything. But now that the president kind of called her out, she can't, kind of can't do anything because, you know, she'll get busted. So I don't know if um, they're going to restore Alex's memory, you know, about everything. I don't know if you even can do that. Because John left to go to Mars and uh, to drop off the um the symbols and then you have um then i don't know if supergirl is going to tell lena who she really is and everything so anyway it's an 11 minute video dang anyway i really really enjoyed the episode and that's going to do it for this video so if you like this video please go to like comment down below tell me what you think do you agree disagree tell me your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe and i'll see y'all next video bye everybody